This week's episode is made possible thanks to our amazing partner, KiwiCo. My mini BFFs are getting back into the swing of things with school starting, and I just love hanging with my friends after they get out of school. I'm always looking for a fun activity we can do. Well, with the KiwiCo subscription, the thinking work is done for me. Delivered right to your door, you'll have everything you need to have all the creative fun. The best part is KiwiCo has crates for all different ages of my mini BFFs, so there's something for everyone. I mean, you can make a pinball machine, y'all. Yes, seriously, a pinball machine. We did it. It was so much fun to take all the parts out of the box and transform it into our very own game. I love that we were able to make it unique to us by deciding exactly where we wanted each obstacle in the pinball machine to go. We had the best time, y'all. Your child can get super cool hands-on science, art, and geography projects delivered right to their door every month with everything you need. KiwiCo does the legwork so you can spend quality time tackling projects together. And there's no commitment, so you can pause or cancel anytime. KiwiCo is redefining learning with hands-on projects that build confidence, creativity, and critical thinking skills. There's something for every kid or kid at heart at KiwiCo. So get 50% off, literally 50% off your first month, plus free shipping on any crate line with the code MINIBFF at KiwiCo.com. That's 50% off your first month at K-I-W-I-C-O.com, promo code MINIBFF. Hi, friends. Welcome to the Mini BFF Podcast. I am your host and friend, Annie F. Downs, and I'm so excited to be with you for a couple of minutes today and share a little story from one of my favorite books, the Bible. No matter where you are or what you've been up to, I love that I get to spend this time with you. Hey, Mini BFFs, you may know this already, but in case you don't, every Monday night at 6 p.m. Central over on Instagram Live, I read a book to you. It's my favorite night of the week where I get to say hi to all of my friends and share the artwork you sent in. And today I want to give an extra shout out to my friend, Lucy Ray. Hi, Lucy Ray. We love all the pictures you send in and we are so thankful to have you as a Mini BFF. All right, friends, let me tell you how this podcast is going to go. I'm going to tell you a story and then we'll pray together. And then I'm going to ask you to draw something fun for me because we love drawing pictures at the mini BFF book club. So we have to draw them for mini BFF podcast too. However much you love drawing them, trust me, we love seeing them even more. Okay. Are you ready to get started with our story for today? Me too. This one is called God created the world. Here we go. Have you ever created something, maybe a new game to play or a really cool bracelet? Have you ever had something created for you? Well, I have, and I know you have too. See, God created the world for you and me and all our friends and family because we are all God's children. Yep, even me, grown up Annie, I am a child of God just like you. Now let's go back to that thing you created before. You know, the bracelet or the awesome game you made up in your backyard. You had to think through the steps to make it just right. Well, God did the same when he created the earth. All right, answer this question if you know it. How many days did it take God to create the earth? Say it out loud to me. Six, that's right, well done. It took him six whole days. And on the seventh day, he rested because it was a lot of work. The first thing God needed when he created the earth was light. He saw that the world was dark and empty. And so he said, let there be light. And there it was. And on that first day, he decided that light would be called day and dark would be called night. Pretty simple. And on day two, God created the water and the sky. Have you ever seen the ocean? Have you ever looked at the sky? Then you know how huge they both are. No wonder it took him a whole day to make it. On day three, God created the dry land to separate the seas like the beach. And he added all the plants and trees to grow food for us to eat. Like the chocolate chip cookie you ate after dinner tonight. That came from a plant that God created on the third day. I'm serious, mini BFFs. Your chocolate chip cookie started as a plant. Well, okay, parts of it did. And on the fourth day, God decided that we needed seasons, days, and years. He also chose the sun for the light during the day and the moon for the light during the night. And on the fifth day, God created the birds in the sky and the creatures of the sea. On the sixth day, God created all the animals on the earth and he created a guy and a girl. Phew, that is a lot of work in six days if you ask me. So on the seventh day, God rested from all the work he had done. And that is something that is a gift he has given to you and me, the chance to rest after a very long, busy day. God put a lot of time and thought into this world he made for me and you. So tomorrow, when you look out your window, just remember that it was all created for you by the Father that loves you. Let's pray together. 
Dear God, thank you for creating the world just for me and my friends. Thank you for working so hard to make it just right so we can live here and enjoy all its beauty. Please help us to love your creation well. We love you. Amen. You guys, wasn't that such a good story? Okay, so for our drawing today, do you think you can draw me a picture of the world? I think that would be so cool. So draw a picture and then grab a grown-up and either tag mini BFF book club on Instagram or mail it to P.O. Box 121826, Nashville, Tennessee, 37212. Mini BFFs, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'm always so happy to have you here with us. Remember, be kind to your grown-ups, your teachers, and your friends, and I'll see you next time. And hey, grown-ups, if you want to talk more about today's story, we read from Genesis chapter 1 and Genesis chapter 2, verses 1 through 3. Bye, mini BFFs. Love you, mean it.